Uh, the city of Spokane still trying to figure out what to do with the old YMCA property in Riverfront Park. Last summer, the city borrowed money from Public Works to buy the building from the Parks Department, and now the council needs to pay that money back to pay that to a loan. Council had a meeting last night to look at several proposals in KXY 4's Tori Brene live at Riverfront Park. And Tori, after months of debate, it seems the city still doesn't have a plan for the Y building. That is correct, and the city needs to decide by April 1st whether they're, not, whether they're going to accept the county's offer to use conservation futures to turn the area into an open space. They also have two offers from private developers to turn the area into a multi-redevelopment. But so far, the council doesn't seem too crazy about any of those plans. It's the old adage of show me the money. Council President Joe Shogan says his first priority is to pay back the $4.3 million the council borrowed from Public Works to buy the YMCA building. I'm not crazy about any idea that may sound good, but this doesn't have any money in back of it. Right now, the only option before the council that has guaranteed money behind it is accepting the county's offer to use conservation futures to turn the area into a green space. Council member John Schneider wants conservation futures to be taken off the table. I can't go back to the citizens and say, hey, this is the best bang for your buck. Schneider thinks using conservation futures puts too many restrictions on that piece of land. I'm not even sure under the conservation futures rules if you could even put a park bench on that land. Personally, um, whether or not you want the building up or whether you want open space, I think you want to give the Parks Department more flexibility about what they do with it. In addition to the offer from the county, the council has two other offers in front of them. We've got some um, proposals from developers that we are not excited about. Wells and Company proposed to turn the building into apartments to give the city a percent of the rent. And Pinch Development also proposed a land swap and redevelopment of the area, but only offered the city $3 million more than a million dollars less than what the city owes. I think we need longer than three weeks to evaluate all the different implications of those options. And last night, the council discussed the role the building plays in Riverfront Park overall. They looked at, you know, turning it into a museum, at maybe even making it an indoor pool. But again, there's that question of who is going to pay for those proposals. The council is going to meet again on Thursday, rediscuss the county's plan, and then see if they can come up with other um, ways of paying back their loan. Live in Riverfront Park, Tori Brunetti, KXLY4 HD News.